Namaste and welcome to all in this session. I'm Khagendra Acharya from Kathmandu University. This session is prepared taking into account the need of undergraduate and graduate students. Whether you are an undergraduate student or a graduate student in this need, you will probably meet your peers or the seniors or visit the faculty who is approachable. There you will be asked question about your plan. What do you want to do? How do you want to do? And why do you want to do? If it's a meeting with a faculty, your conversation often ends with the faculty asking you to write a document. If you are a graduate student doing research independently, you will possibly ask questions about granting agencies, whether any call has been announced, and if there is a call, whether you have a document to submit. To help the students who are in need of such document, I am going to discuss writing research proposal, which is understood as a blueprint for research project. I request you at the outset not to consider research proposal writing work is a very difficult task. You can begin with the inquisitiveness that you brought with your birth. Ask questions like, what do I want to study? Is the topic of my personal interest or of institutional interest? Or is it a timely issue? Further, you ask what is known about what you want to study? What have the scholars found so far? Are there contested issues? And what is yet not known. Next question to ask will be, why should I study what I want to study? Is the topic pertinent? Is it worthwhile to study? Is it unexplored issue? Are there contrasting findings? You also ask, how realistic is what you want to study. What are the issues and sub-issues within the topic that you want to study? How much time do you have? And what resources do you have? Whether the topic that you are studying demands examination of ethical, legal and environmental issues. Another not to forget question to ask is, how can I study what I want to study? Tailored to this question, you will ask, who or what am I studying? Am I studying people, places, animals, or any other thing? Am I selecting these objects subjects or places appropriately? How am I going to get information from what I am studying? What will I do with the collected information? If your questions are not in order, organize them in the pattern of what questions followed by why questions and finally how questions once your questions are well organized you start finding answer to these questions in response to the question what do i want to study get information about the terms used in the research topic generate information about its history and evolution. Find the seminal scholars and their ideas on the topic. Finally, find out the importance of studying this issue. 
in response to the question what is known or yet to know find information about the scholars issues studied by the scholars the methods they have used their findings and compare their findings the methods and the issues studied so far in response to the question why should i study you will get answers like the issue has yet not been examined or particular aspect of the issue is not studied so far or there are multiple findings and they are contested to collect information related to the question whether the study is feasible get answer about the months that you have the money that you require the availability of mentors or your level of experience and finally whether the topic is focused if you do not have any of these things make note of it to get answer to how am i going to study decide what or who to select how you going to select whether the selection process is appropriate then go to the issue of how you going to generate information from the subject or object of a study and finally decide how you going to analyze the information derived from them to get information related to these questions you can consult books research articles websites or meet peers seniors and faculties next to information collection is its packaging to package the information you have to consult the organization to which you are writing your proposal proposal templates are organization specific and field specific as well this template is prescribed by university grants commission nepal this is the format for horyobon small grants program you have to figure out the template that is used by the organization to which you are writing the proposal the templates are field specific as well that is to say the template that is used in engineering is not used in arts and humanities and the likewise let's start filling the information in the format that we selected the first section is introduction wherein we write background available literature research gap objective and the rationale of the study under the heading background write information that you collected for the question what do i want to study this is the background section of a proposal on migrant retardees if you want to read till the end you pause here on the literature review heading write information that you generated for the question what is known about the topic we include seminal works works that contest and recent works this is a section of literature review on migrant retardees if you want to read till the end you pause here on the problem statement write information related to what is yet to know under the heading objective of the study write the collected information for what do i want to do about this topic 
This is a sample of an objective of this study. And under the heading rational, write the information in response to why this study. If literature review is prescribed as chapter 2 component, write accordingly. Under method or methodology heading, we feed information related to how the work will be done, particularly the information related to what subject or object is studied, how is information collected from these subject or object of study, and how the data will be analyzed. This sample presents method of study. What we feed next in the format is expected outcome and significance of this study. If you want to read till the end, you pause here. Limitations and delimitations demand you to write what is not possible to do and what will not be done. Please read the two paragraphs below to understand how limitations and delimitations are written. Work plan is another component of research proposal. Prepared is a Gantt chart. It presents the works which should be done and the time by which each work will be complete. Final component is budget part, where we write the works and the money required for each work. Finally, we feed in information related to the works that we consulted. There are different ways of writing references. You can use MLA, APA, Chicago, or Vancouver, or another style. References can be created using reference management software, creating manual reference in Word document, or using Google Scholar Citation Mark. To understand these techniques, please refer to other videos on research methodology. Once the task of fitting in information in the format is complete, we go to the next step. Next step is revisiting the document. We ensure that the document is written in the template. It communicates effectively because the document is precise, clear, accurate. The document also adheres to ethical norms and the resource project is worthwhile and feasible. We are towards the end of today's session. Let's sum up what we discussed. We started with the need assessment, discussed the way to generate information in response to the questions, described the way to package information, and finally discussed the way to revise documents. Thank you very much for watching this video. We'll see you in the next session. Till then, namaste and goodbye.